Greetings to all the airmen, soldiers, and family members of the Colorado National Guard and to all the dedicated members of the Department of Military and Veterans Affairs. 2020 has been a very challenging year for the entire world, and I'm thankful for each of you for stepping up to serve during this difficult time. As we mark our annual season of light, I'm pleased to join with your chaplain team to share a few words of hope this holiday season. Picture the scene. It's almost 2,500 years ago, 168 BCE. The Middle East is controlled by Emperor Antiochus IV, based in Syria, a man so crazy that his people called him Antiochus Epimanus, Antiochus the Madman. He decreed against the Jews living in his empire as the land of Israel was part of his empire. Horrible, draconian rules outlawing all the practices of Judaism. Simply reading the Bible was a capital offense. All Jewish observances were outlawed. The temple in Jerusalem had been turned into a pagan temple honoring the god Zeus. And the Jews were hopeless and heartbroken. Until one man, one priest, who now is out of a job, Mattathias Maccabeus, who we refer to as Matityahu, he decided enough was enough. And defying all odds, he declared single-handedly war against this great emperor. And he, along with his five sons, who became known as the Maccabees, declared anyone who wanted to join in this guerrilla revolt against the greatest army in the region should come and join them in the mountains. And they did. And this small army, never numbering more than 10,000 people, waged war against this mighty Seleucid Empire, and against all hope, defeated them. Three years later, marching triumphantly into Jerusalem, they discovered the temple completely destroyed, turned into this pagan place full of carcasses of pigs, idols all over the place. And they spent time cleaning it up, replacing the vessels, including the beautiful candelabrum, this one they made out of spears covered in wood veneer. But when it came time to find oil to light this candelabrum, they could find nothing. And again, against all hope, they searched and searched until they found one small little cruise of oil that was still stamped with the seal of the high priest knowing that it was pure. And opening it up, they realized it was just enough for one day, but it would take eight days to make more oil. And again, against all hope, they filled the candelabra with oil and lit it, and trust in God that what would be would be. And just as God came through for them and allowed them to defeat the empire of Antiochus IV, he came through again, and that oil burned for eight days. Two instances where with no hope, they drew on their inner reserves, their resiliency, and found hope and these two great miracles. Tonight, as we light the menorah, we look to kindle within ourselves and those around us the light of perseverance, the light of hope, the light of joy. In lighting the menorah, we remind ourselves of the great joy that comes from the guaranteed triumph of light over darkness, of good over evil, hope over despair, and of spirit over matter. Our great sages tell us that light is very unique. When we light a candle to benefit ourselves, and which is illumination, which should indeed start at home, but it never stops there, because such is the nature of light, that when you light a candle, it ultimately benefits everyone around you. And this is a very timely and reassuring message for the difficult times that we live in today. So many ask this question, how can you have hope? How can you have hope when the darkness seems insurmountable, the challenges seem unassailable? It just seems no end to the difficulties that we see in our world. And our great sages have a beautiful saying that a little bit of light dispels a lot of darkness. That is the power of light. You don't have to take over the entire mountain. If you're in a dark room and you light one match, it lights up the entire room. So the message of Hanukkah is 
Yes, have hope, because one candle at a time, one good deed at a time, can transform the world around you. I want to share a personal story. Hanukkah is actually my favorite Jewish holiday. I love that message of light. I love that idea that good will always triumph over evil. I come from a family that survived the Second World War. The very fact that I'm here today in our most wonderful country, wearing the uniform of the most wonderful military, is testament to the values and the message of both America as well as Hanukkah and the menorah lights. My grandfather told me a story how even in the war, the Second World War against the Nazis, and he was on the front line and it was considered very dangerous, but he knew come what may, he needed the inspiration from the Hanukkah lights. They didn't have anything. He collected some potatoes, he scooped out the inside of the potatoes, he collected some butter and took some old clothes to make wicks and for the protection of his fellow soldiers, he managed to light the candle, something that was deeply appreciated by him, something that he never forgot and something that we never forgot as his grandchildren. Because the message of Hanukkah tells us that we must never give up hope. On the contrary, we should believe, we should challenge ourselves to rise above whatever we may be facing. So I want tonight, as we light the menorah, everyone should at home take that message and light up your own homes and remember that critical message that one small act can create a big miracle. So I dare everyone to shine, to love, to hope, and may God do the same upon our state, upon our nation, and upon our world. Happy Hanukkah! Tor Yeshu Asi, Bechana El Shabeya, Tikam Reis Tefilasi, Isham Toda Nezabeya, Lies Tachin Madbeya, Mitzar Abna Beya, Azegmor Beshir Mizmor, Hanukas Hamiz Beya. A celebration of Hanukkah is a celebration of hope and of light. And if there ever was a time when we as Americans, as Coloradans, as fellow human beings need hope, it is now. Over the last few months, we've been through so much. There's been many setbacks individually for our entire community. And sadly, we're not out of the woods yet. This is a time for hope. This is a time for light to dig deep inside, to draw on our faith, to draw on the strength of our family, the power of unity and community, to hope, to trust, to believe that a brighter day will soon be here. We will prevail and will emerge from this season better than we were even before. So, as we observe the lit candles of Hanukkah to help vanquish the darkness of despair with the light of hope, I wish you, those you love, and all Coloradans a season of happiness, a season of joy, a Merry Christmas, a Happy Kwanzaa, a Happy Hanukkah, a Happy New Year, a season of light, and yes, a season of hope.